In 2015, by executive order, Governor Pat McCrory created the North Carolina Food Manufacturing Task Force. The task force brings together industry experts in poultry, beef, pork, dairy production, food processing, food packaging, transportation, education, and economic development. Their goal is to grow food manufacturing in North Carolina. Our state is a leader in agriculture, ranking first in the nation in tobacco and sweet potatoes, and second in the production of poultry and eggs, hogs, and turkeys. North Carolina is ranked eighth in the nation in agricultural output. In fact, at $76 billion a year, agriculture is still the state's number one industry in North Carolina and accounts for 16% of our state's job market. Under the leadership of the Department of Agriculture, North Carolina has the goal of growing agriculture and agribusiness to a $100 billion industry in our state by the year 2020. One key to accomplishing this goal is to increase food manufacturing in our state. While we are the third most agriculturally diverse state in the nation, North Carolina currently ranks 19th in food manufacturing. Many of the commodities grown here currently go to other states for further processing before being sold to consumers. North Carolina has the opportunity to catalyze food processing and manufacturing industrial development throughout the state. We stand to add an estimated 38,000 jobs. This would increase the associated economic output of the agricultural industry by an estimate of $10.3 billion by the year 2020. As such, the task force is interested in speaking with food manufacturing companies from around the world with an interest in relocating to North Carolina. The state has a mild climate, low taxes, a right to work workforce, excellent transportation, and easy access to the East Coast marketplace. Our pro-business political leadership is attuned to the needs of the food manufacturing industry. The task force is equally interested in talking with farmers in North Carolina who have an interest in growing their fresh market business to include the processing of their products. Likewise, the task force is interested in talking with farmers who would like to utilize the research and development power of North Carolina State University's College of Agriculture which is an international leader in finding solutions and developing new food products for the global marketplace. They have an excellent track record in this arena and are always looking for new product ideas. Finally, we are interested in venture capital firms, private, public, and or international that are looking for agricultural investment opportunities. We are methodically identifying those opportunities, vetting them, and researching what it will take to make them a success. We want to partner the opportunity with the money to make it successful. If you want to learn more or want to contact us to get started, use the contact information on your screen to reach our team. We're looking forward to hearing from you. So one way to grow from a $76 billion agriculture industry to $100 billion is to do more uh, food manufacturing in our state, to attract more venture capital to the state of North Carolina, to let our farmers know that there's venture capitalists out there that are interested in what they do, to let our venture capitalists know that there are farmers in the state of North Carolina that have a need, and the task force will help put the two of them together and help grow that industry across the state of North Carolina. If you're at the beginning of the food system value chain or at the end of the food safety value chain, we want you. If you're a farmer, we want you because we think that we can take your ingredient and produce a value-added good that's going to help provide value and produce more money in the products that you produce. What we offer here in North Carolina is, is certainly a great business climate and that includes everything from costs of doing business that are well below the national average, uh, a skilled workforce that's uh, coupled with some great training resources that help them keep up to date with whatever skills manufacturers are looking for in their workplaces today. Uh, we've got a great transportation infrastructure. Uh, be, it's critical to be able to move raw materials in and, and finish products out. Well, North Carolina has been uh, focused in, in developing much greater and more robust manufacturing because we are a manufacturing state. It is our DNA. That's what we do. Mm -hmm.